Hi, my name's Rick Chilp. I'm here today at Blueprint Studios in Manchester. Hi, I'm Mike Joyce and I uh, play drums. I'm down here at Blueprint today with Roland. I think it's important to really get stuck in experimenting with the hybrid technology. It gives you so much more to work with, to play with, more sounds, more sonics, more frequencies. So it has opened up a, a world of opportunities for me. I just like the aesthetics of the acoustic kit and I like the feel of it and I like the look of it. And that was one of the reasons why I wasn't that interested really in about getting a full electronic kit. And I saw the TM2 and I thought that's absolutely perfect. Still retaining the acoustic kit and the look of the acoustic kit, but you've got the electronic coming into it as well, which is, that's perfect. The marriage between the two is absolutely perfect for me. So currently, I'm using my SPD SX to layer my sounds. I'm still pretty new to this, but so far, it's been really good experimenting with uh, layering organic sounds from my kit into the SPD SX and vice versa, and just playing around with different sounds, uh, looping, sampling. It's interesting to play with those sounds and having you know, the hybrid stuff and the SPDSX gives you the versatility to play with sounds that you've had on the record and to try and replicate them live, mixing it in with, um, with the organic sounds of the kit. At the moment, I've got the Roland TM2 and I've got a kick trigger and a snare trigger and I'm using the internal sounds, which are brilliant by the way. And I'm also using some of the enhanced sounds. Sometimes I just want a slightly different snare or a slightly different kick, depending on the track that I'm playing. So at the minute, I'm just using these triggers to add a bit of weight to my live sound. On the kick, I'm using, um, playing with either 808 or 909 kick, either or on the snare, and then sort of a hand clap on the rim. So for me, keeping it quite simple um, at the moment. It kind of enables me to be sort of gig ready as I'm writing. So I can literally take this sound and play it live without using different snares, um, you know, heads, changing this, that and the other. Whether it's a small gig, big gig, I've got the confidence to know that it's going to sound bang on straight away. I found also in rehearsals that not only is it inspiring me, it's also inspiring the guys that I'm working with. Because when we're playing, the sounds that I'm creating, they're changing the way that they're playing, ever so slightly, to accommodate what they're hearing as well. So it's not just kick, snare, kick, snare. You're getting some really interesting effects using the TM2, which in turn inspires them. It has opened up a lot more opportunities for me. I was really nervous about the complexity and sort of infinite possibilities of using the SPDSX. It's as easy as you want to make it, you know, with just having it on the kick and the snare. It's already taught me to be a little bit more experimental in my playing and reacting to loops and sounds. As I said, it's, it's not that complicated. You know, if I can do it, then I'm sure you can.